All right. Hey guys, I saw you there this time. So, we finally made it to the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. But before I do that, I'm going to take a quick detour to uh at, to show off the uh Schwarzgeist Schwarzgeist hidden gummy boss cuz I think Val said she in uh was familiar with Einhander or Le or if, or if she's only remembering the bouncer or air guys, but I'll show it, I'll suck at it, and then we'll move on. To finally do the DLC. And totally redeem this game. What f what Final Fantasy characters will await us? Will it be Sephiroth? Will it be Cloud? Will it be Kyrie from the FF7 remake? Uh, let's find out! Oh wait, I should save that for the beginning of the actual DLC. Oops. Shit. <sighs> but yeah, I did a little bit of off-screen grinding. I grinded all the treasure chests, which was kind of pointless. I grinded 20 of eat, 20 of a uh, five course meal. Like, like 20 of each ingredient to make 20 items, which are five, 20 items of each of the five courses. I also got this Endymion uh, gummy ship from a, uh, finding a constellation and then luckily the cool thing about Endymion is it's one of the best ships besides the ship you get for being Schwarzgeist and you can get I think you can basically get it by just getting all the treasure spheres so at least they had the terrible awful fan serve lip service quote unquote <sighs> given to treasure planet and it's actually useful for something this our destination is Big Tornado! It contains the Sports Guys. I don't know if I can actually reach it though. I think I have to be a certain speed or some shit. Well, let's see. Stop no further! Hmm. Let me in. Oh, okay. I think it's hostile. Oh. Yeah, there is there is a uh by Easy code merit attached to a uh, beating, getting an A rank on this fight. So that's uh, that's cool. I can only assume this music's from Einhander. Component destroyed. Bit of a long one. But I also, I also got the repair kit, which I got from beating the uh, shark from uh, the main quest, I think, on the uh, outside Monstropolis or the toy box. So that that is that helps me heal. G gives me a heal. I can't tell if green if if that shield. I'm guessing it's a shield that makes them vulnerable or not. 
I guess I have to only shoot them when they're uh, things down, but I can't tell. Oh, no, I can shoot them anyway. Let me use my ad, damn it. Avoiding those whips are a lot easier than I thought they would be. Or, or, or a lot easier than I remember them being. Rather. I think, I think, uh... Uh, rank is based on points accumulated rather than, uh... Rather than... Speed of completion, so I... No way, I think speed does have a factor in it. That's probably, I should, I should probably pick up the pace. With fighting, with fighting the SG. Dog Brett, hey, what's going on? Finding the uh, food for the uh, bistro stuff, and man, some it, a lot of this game really is stuck in the, the mid the mid aughts because grinding like the carrots and the crab were hugely tedious. But I grinded them, and thankfully the meals I I uh, picked don't involve honey, which is the worst ingredient. Multiplier gets lower with the uh, whoopsie, which is the worst ingredient to grind because you can't grind it anywhere except Hundred Acre Woods, and that means those mini games are awful. My cat is having a crisis. I dropped a piece of food she doesn't like. She wants to steal it so bad. Oh no! She wants it but doesn't like it. I only ever played a demo of the first Kingdom Hearts. First Kingdom Hearts is pretty good. It, it's back before it uh, became too bloated by its own mythos. It's a fun little silly earnest thing that's pretty all right for what it is. And and three has its moments, but it's just it's 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 so it's so far gone from its original ideal. Oh jeez, game heard me. You know, whoop my butt. I think I can probably get an A rank if I beat it with the uh, golden gummy, golden high wind that I get from, my, from beating this guy. Don't worry about speed, let's worry about victory. Victoire! It looks like I blowed up.
<laughs> oh. It almost feels like a Sega team. But yeah, it's like a lot of ingredient grinding involved, like, sort of nebulous locations, like, uh, the carrots, they're like, carrots are one of them where you have to, like, find, there's only, like, two quick, quick to access gathering points in, like, weird long journeys of, uh, across two streams, and it's like, and it's like, ingredients don't respawn unless you, like, enter a loading screen, like, you go from, you fast travel to different save points in the same world. Like, it just, it just, it, it feels so archaic, the way a lot of the grind is set up with this. Like, I think there's, like, one, synth there's, like, synthesis, synthesis, like, you know, using, making things, crafting things out of, uh, certain gems and stuff, and there's one gem that's only dropped by destroying a certain body part of a certain enemy that is rare and is in a weird, awkward spawn location. And it's, like, it's like one of those things like, man, things really haven't changed since 2, have they? Thankfully, with the gummy ship things, they don't change with the difficulty, so this is just, this is just as, a uh, engaging as it would be on standard or easy or proud in the old once over But yeah, basically, uh, oh yeah, in case you're wondering what cooking, it, what, what I mean by cooking. Cooking is, you eat food in this game, and it gives you buffs. It's like one of the optional things you can do to like help boost your stats. And if you, there's like, not, there's an appetizer, there's a, uh, a soup, a fish, a meat, like an entree thing, and then the dessert. You have five things, and if you, and there's an option to, uh, Set a, set a five course meal using each of those three categories and like different combinations give you different stat bonuses and then different passive effects like uh, heal boost without having to worry about building it up, a, uh, convert your money into, in, convert your cash drops into like items or vice versa or better, uh, better chance at item drops, stuff like that. Like, that's basically, that's and uh, since in, I'm playing in critical mode, critical mode halves your HP and MP. And since I'm gonna try and do the uh, DLC stuff legit, I'm trying to like you know focus on uh, like using food to like boost my stats and health and stuff. It's so, like what I'm gonna do. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna turn off uh, all the easy mode codes I've been uh, using for this playthrough, and then see how I do with that. And if, and if the bosses wind up sucking, then I'll probably turn things on like auto guard and some some shit. Cause let's do this. There's 13 bosses, I fight the, uh, I think I fight the Organization 13 members, I fight, uh, Master Xehanort again, and then there's a super secret hidden boss, who, whose connection to this game I currently think is dubious, but we'll see how they fit it in, or if it's just like, he silent, they silently show up and engage in battle. We shall see. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa. Almost there. I'll spare you. I'll spare you guys the uh, refight of this, considering I I want to get to the DLC and we basically what the the refight to get S A rank will basically just be this this fight again, but possibly shorter. Yeah.
What the? Oh shit! I didn't realize there was a second phase to this. I beat this thing before. I forgot. I'm excited. I thought you just blew up the thing, and then the thing happened. But then there was a second thing. Those bullets look angry. They're flaming red hot Cheeto bullets. Whoa. Wind and Schwartz guys and attacking right here. Ooh. Yes, that's cool. Yep. And I'll show off the golden high wind. It's a golden version of the standard gummy ship. Mm. What if I can even uh Equip it. Well, that's cool. That's the Golden High Wind. It's very spiffy. Damn it. You can't, can't just give you the parts. You gotta, you gotta grind them out. Oh well. Yeah. It looks spiffy, and I like it. Cool, dude. Golden Falcon, Golden Invincible! I was probably hampering myself by not making the uh, tiny Demians. Wait, I, I couldn't have been able to do that anyway! But yeah. And let's get back to the tile screen. Wait, let me tell my friend. Christopher Lloyd, KH3 DLC. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 also had gummy ships and they all functioned differently. One was like, it was like a, a path to the next world and ships came at you and you dodged them and it was a it was cute and editing was a huge pain in the ass naturally and uh let's see two was a little cooler it was like really dynamic and like you gotta sh had to shoot a bunch of stuff and that was cool and three is it's more free roaming and you have to find the missions i think i guess that's okay okay downloadable content Remind. Let's see what this has to offer. It's all been leading up to this. Will, will we find a final? We'll find a Final Fantasy world. Will it be Cloud or Squall or or Kyrie instead? Like I said earlier. Me May your heart be your guiding key. Picture this. Huh? A black goat stashes away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. What could his intentions possibly be? Uh. Luke Shord. Great! A riddle. Just what I need. There are many possibilities. Perhaps he forgot where it's hidden. 
Or he's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. Well, then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes, that's what I've always done. I followed the orders from above, without question. However, I sometimes can't help but read into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. Zigbar's chest it's looks unlikely cave, he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means the order was issued by Xemnas. <gasps> or the one who informed me of my task. You. As if. It must have been Xemnas. As. If. My Dream inquiries on. suggested otherwise. Oh man. You asked him. What are your intentions? Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? I heard it contains information that's vital to all Keyblade wielders. Secrets. And where did you hear this? Hmm, I don't remember. Can't I keep remember. my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places. It's hard to keep everything straight, you know? Pepper cut! If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it. And you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. Secrets within secrets. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? <sighs> oh yeah, these guys are the villains that were in the third game, the second game. <laughs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's all the same. But introduced in the... I'm content to feign ignorance. The GBA interqual chain of memories that took place between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. The question is, who are you? Luxord. Wow, that scene already read better than like 90% of this game's script. Yeah, these are basically like scenes taken from the uh, base game and then I guess shown a different context. It's finally over. Like you only saw Zigbar once at the end of Hercules World, <laughs> and that was I guess the scene after all that. No. And this is after the final boss. After we'll Kyrie got Kyrie. fridged again. Let's head back to Master Yen Sid. We can figure it out. No. I know what to do. Sora! God, Mickey's face is the worst. My whole journey began the day I lost her. She gave me And pathos. every time I find her, she slips away again. A chill runs down my I thought spine. We'd finally be like together. Open fridge. But she's out there. Being closed. Alone. Not for one more second. Where'd you go? That's right. Gorsh. Thank you, Donald. Goofy. But this time, I have to go it alone. Sora, listen. The power of waking isn't to go chase hearts around. Don't go chasing harder Even falls. Even if you do locate Kyrie. You might never come home to us again. Oh, I will, no. And we'll both be back before you know it. Please. No, take all the time you need, Sora. Let him go, Mickey. Riku. His heart and his mind are made up. Man, the, the patterns... I believe in him. 
of the textures of all these guys' yeah. clothes feels like they just Sweet want to show journey, off Sora. instead of like looking not Thank you. insane. Like they all look like they're made out of basketball fiber. Except for the plaid. The coward plaid. Sure, you broke the seals! Now Kaim's gonna whoop your ass. Oh, I hope we meet. That'd be cool if we met Kaim. That'd be wild. There'd be so much darkness in his heart. It'd be great. Allow me to remind you why we're here. We can't. We couldn't get our chairs back, so we need to use these stone pillars. Oh no! Who are you? You. Yes, me. Yes, me, 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 me. Reach. Me too. So? Oh, gee. Yeah. It wards off darkness. It's useful. Told ya. So, how'd it go? The tour. S that should be Iago. So, how'd it go? Iago's nobody! I learned the reason for my existence. So it was someone pi using... Oh, tell me more. <laughs> what the... All around the world. Statues crumble for me. seemingly peaceful lives. They Those believe themselves to be moral and virtuous, but it's all an act. Darkness lurks in the pit of everyone's heart. Their light is a total farce. So is that Xehanort or someone wearing Xehanort as a Sounds skin? Sounds like your trip around the world opened your eyes. Or is a cloak supposed to a little bit more than you mess with darkness? You must have ah, seen okay. a lot of darkness. A good a reason for everyone to wear the same damn outfit. Those who are weak and who desire greater power. Power. Simply strip the strong of their power and convince themselves they've earned it. That's how people become tainted by darkness. They believe what they want to believe, using hollow reasons as justification. Mm. They repeat this cycle, and their darkness grows. So you're saying the weak feel the need to justify their actions to maintain a sense of self. Can't let that slide? No. They can't go hollow. It's better they be ruled by darkness. People carry delusions of having power, but it's a lie. Xehanort only has partial they butthole are but sheep mouth. Pretending to be wolves. Though I admit, I can understand why. He, there's a phrase for that. Oh, you know. I've never heard that one before. A keyblade wielder willing to side with the darkness? Who the hell is this guy? Why not just let them be until the darkness consumes them? Because left alone. Yeah, right? The world would fall to chaos. He sounds like he's using hollow there reasons to justify to his ordered. actions. You sure about that? Hey, but here's the Why kettle not just calling sit you back. back. And watch it play out. Understanding hearts is difficult. More so the emotions within. I simply realize that it's easy to dismiss what you don't comprehend. All right, all right. The world needs you. I'll grant you that one. I don't know what I can do, but I will act. What comes next is too important. I suppose letting false light dictate the future might be a pretty lousy move. So? You can make a change. You have that power. What yep. do you want for the world? I'm surprised they didn't power eventually man. make the robes have different, like, who knows? Seem embossed. My training's in, coming to an end. Embossed and the exam's patterns not far off. to like kind of set them Maybe apart. If they're clarity then. if they insist to only be in You're robes. Letting the exam decide. Listen to me. The results don't matter. You believe the world needs you. Sounds like you already know where you're headed. But what do I know? 
It's funny. I guess that's what they use the hair for. Somehow, I can sense where I'm supposed to go. And what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> can we get some fucking name tags yes. around here? Even this coat. There's something familiar about it. As if I'm meant to wear this. Yes, this... Hmm. This... Minimalist costume, no. des costume design no, is... Destiny. What do you mean? I mean that one day you're going to outgrow it. How so? If you truly possess great power, it's pleather, it won't grow with you. you. You won't need a silly old coat to stay safe. In fact, you'll be the one controlling the darkness instead. You'll get a more interesting. Me, on outfit. the other hand, I have too much of a scaredy cat to ever take mine off. Who are you? Who are you really? Some kind of fortune teller? Well, I could lie and tell you that's what I am when I'm actually a brilliant artist or even a scholar. I Clearly could tell you that major. I dream of world peace when I'm actually planning for its destruction. The truth is what you see with your eyes, not what you hear. Obfuscating silliness. So, your name? What did I just... Never mind. I guess there's no harm. My name is. Oh, for. F Light? T Older Ericus? It's gotta be Ericus. I'm a lost master. It's gotta be Ericus. It's his heartless! Or nobody! Because Rose. Lost. Master? A laster? Or a monster? A most? Is this loss? May your heart be your guiding key. <gasps> 75 years later? God damn. I haven't been playing that long. Oh, that took place before, uh... Uh... <laughs> The events but of so Cage funny, okay. old man. Mind sharing with us? It was a flashback. Ooh, Dive to the Heart remix. I stand here today because of a fated encounter. Christopher Lloyd! Very many years ago, when I was still a young lad. I sound so much better than Rutger Hauer. I never learned who he was, and perhaps I never will. But I see now the truth he spoke of. <sighs> we don't have time for bedtime stories. Without the kid, we're still down a 13th vessel. And as for the other 12, only three of us are here right now. Only three of us are here are you now. absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times? I don't have it in me in my own bones to teleport like that anymore. Lucia and Larkseen are both here in this time, attempting to locate the new Seven Hearts. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age, but Nothing after our last meeting, he went in search of something per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. The royal us, Zigbar. Because Kingdom Hearts. close as usual. Okay. Royal. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. All right. The hearts of Ansem, Zemnus, Venetus, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a guardian of light. Was so, Blue a guardian of light? Turned human. And then back again into nobodies, or me, 
You, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Xemnas, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Repliku! Then we add the old man in, the total comes up to... 11. Sure. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Zemnis originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel with my heart. Indeed, the very same heart had previously resided within young Terra. So that makes twelve. Then, who do we get to replace the kid? Twenty replicas were created by Vexen. The first twelve were nothing more than puppets, barely human. The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. Ansem, oh! Xemnas, Venetus, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort's hearts. That's where Shion came Five from. N-O-I, number I. Left. Fuck me. Vex and Endemics are candidates, but backups at best. That's clever, but I still hate Shion. The last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? Anyone in mind? The second prototype that was created, number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. An adequate pipe. Number I. An imaginary number. How fitting. <laughs> While young Xehanort is occupied with transferring hearts, I must go fulfill my duty. I will go and retrieve Vexen. Nomura must have had Reliable puppies when always. he realized imaginary it numbers existed. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. They're imaginary well, numbers? I'm off to do my part. I gotta use that. The plan, as we agreed upon. <laughs> Don't fall. May your heart be your guiding key. Oh my god, he said it too! Christopher Lloyd returning back to the Disney villain fold since playing Murloc in the DuckTales movie. Okay, so uh, it's it's still like listing out things, but at least it's not. At least it's sort, sorting things out within the current game instead of just remind is... telling me shit that happened in the other games or whatever. I mean, it's basically the same thing, but I don't think it's as frustrating to endure. Charity. Oh no. Back so soon. What's wrong? Well... Even with the power of waking, you can't just bring someone back. But Kyrie's heart hasn't been lost yet. She's still with us, right? 
Maybe, but this time, I'm afraid the situation is a lot worse. Hey, I've already restored six hearts. What's one more? But that's not how it's supposed to work at all. The power of waking is meant to be used to wake and restore sleeping hearts. Not to restore them after they've completely faded away from existence. You've done that six times before. And as a result, you've managed to greatly alter the course of history itself. You've created a time paradox! Nature taboo. Nature... A forbidden act. Break a taboo of nature, and you'll end up paying an extraordinary price. Oh, I got like 40k money, so... I've heard that before. So, what's the price? I don't remember hearing that before. You'll lose your powers. You won't be able to use the power of waking. Oh no, that thing we've that's been striving all? for. No problem. It's not like I had it to begin but with. that's not all. You yourself will vanish from this world. Oh no, again? And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. I don't care. What? There's a lot I don't understand. Oh yeah. But I know that this is all I can do right now. I must rescue Kyrie from the fridge. I have to do everything I can to get Kyrie back. Huh? Same difference. That's the whole reason behind my journey. <sighs> I can't stop you, can I? <laughs> nope. I have to follow my heart. Gotta um, open your heart. It's gonna be all right. Well. Then this really is goodbye. So listen carefully to me. <sighs> You'll return to the past again. But you won't be able to rewrite it this time. Return to the past no now! No matter what happens, you have to accept it and move on. Okay, let's see, we got a shit. We got more shit. Okay, okay. No deadly blow. No auto block. No regen. No form change. No attractions. Because fuck attractions. Nah. No overflow. No survival. <laughs> uh, even though that's a buff to the enemies, too. Shop discount I'll keep on, because why the fuck not? Uh. Wait, let me just double check and see if there's any, uh... Beat, uh, Remind without using any easy code. <laughs> DLC. Hey, Frylock. Give me a pitcher of beer. I will not. You're not old enough to drink. <laughs> you don't know that. If you knew everything, you, we wouldn't be losing. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. <laughs> Damn it! Google! Loading in suggested results while I'm trying to. Okay. Da 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 da. Uh, earn all merits. Pro code merits. Complete remind. Beat one hit. Beat one boss. Beat thirteen bosses. Beat the super duper ultra secret mega boss. So yeah, shop discount stays. Oh yeah, and I was gonna try and beat one of the. Uh, Merit quests, it's uh, you freeze 30 enemies and then shatter them. But, at this point, I'm too strong, even if I hamper myself, to do that. So, and everyone's suggesting, oh, just use the easy codes and the pro codes. But you can't use easy codes and pro codes in the same file until you beat the final boss of the DLC. So it's like, thanks. Oh my god. Let's see, uh... Zaga, Thundaga... Faraga. You know what? Let's see. Uh, I am going to replace Blazaga with... Let's say an Aether. I haven't had... I haven't put items on my shortcut list, and I really should probably use them more. Like, that feels like... I wish... I really wish... Correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who have this stream muted. I really wish you could switch between different shortcut uh, menus. That way it's like, I have a shortcut menu for spellcasting, like all offensive spells. A shortcut menu for items, but I haven't been told whether or not you can switch... Uh, shortcut, can you... S 
Can you swap short cut King H3? How do you switch shortcuts? Let's see. Switch how to add shortcuts and how to switch sets. Not yet. Hold down LB to use the shortcut set and hit the corresponding Facebook face face button. Swap between all three sets to sit up and down the D pad. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, that's uh okay. Well, what do you know? They do have that. Okay, in that case, shortcut B will be items, and I only make two shortcut sets. It's like with Dante fighting Virgil and having only his shotgun, only two guns, so that he's not screwing around. Anyway, okay. Let's say X is Let's give Mega Elixir the whole team. Ah, I don't need the whole team. Let's do So, X high potion, or potion, high potion, elixir, ether. Cool. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's uh, instead of let's let's make let's make one of those uh, potions. High potion. Let's make one of them a. Uh, Refocuser. Let's see. Fast effects. That that way that way it's each okay. You're ready to control to close the menu and return to the action. Is everybody okay? No subs! The heart you have now, it already on, existed during that oh, time. For fuck's sake. It went back into that past earlier. Nothing can change that fact. Oh boy, let's justify this stupid the shit place where you uh. return is the tear in the fabric of time that was created when you changed your destiny. Show this cutscene a third time! In order to not stray too far from the true power of waking. You'll enter and pass through the hearts of the Guardians until you reach Kyrie's heart. Every emotion that each of the Guardians felt. Sadness, anxiety, fear, kindness. Everything they saw and everything that they felt then. You'll clear a way through it. Traverse across their hearts. And dive ever deeper inside. And dive into the heart. I can't be sure what's waiting for you at the end. Or what you'll actually be able to do. But by following the connection of hearts, you'll come to discover a greater truth. You're losing me. sure to help you. But... In this flow of time, no, I don't want to become famous. You only have up until the moment you left for this place, so you'll have to find and restore Kyrie's heart before then. That's all the advice I can give you. Beyond that, I can only say, may your heart be your guiding key. <laughs> So you have to get them all before they expire this to save Kyrie. Is Ven's heart? Gotta purify the heart, Sora. Ven. Ven. Run. No, leave him be. 
What? He's too pure, and a pure heart can be most careless. Who are you? Darkness. Darkness? Vanitas? <sighs> yes, that's the Latin word for darkness. <laughs> He has story significance, how about that? Oh, fuck. That was easy to dodge. Wait. No high potion. I can't use a high potion. Do I not have any high potion? I probably should have won over my, uh... Probably should have won over my ability list. Abilities... Counter... Hmm. Want to reprise all again? I could have sworn I got air. I had air recovery. Why? Oh, right. I couldn't. I couldn't air recover because I kept on getting uh, stunned. Right. Okay. I don't think I have. Oh yeah. No. Yep. No high potions. That's why. Excuse me. Okay, it's it's too, okay. Com combat's still too frantic to uh, fucking do that shit I was wanting to do. So let me make sure I have the things I'm equipping. Yes, elixir. Ether, Podion. Oh wait, I had high potions. What the fuck? Hmm. Unfortunately, it's a it's a, it's very sink or swim with uh. When you, uh... The fuck? Oh, goddammit. <laughs> 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 
Okay. It's, it's very sink or swim with gut. Like, you either dodge in the very first hit, or you're just gonna eat all the hits. And it's just like, eh. Why can't I use fucking... Oh, right, I had I, I need them equipped. Fuck, right. Now I'm remembering how this game works. But, oh, big frantic fight. Ah, just glide, you'll dodge everything. Whoop. Ah, well, I healed myself. Okay, can't block. I'm sorry, did you want something from me, game? Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Okay, cool, I can, uh... Can restock. I think you can, uh... What can you do, uh... Oh. Make elixirs. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe not. Mod card! Oh! Exclusive items! Bonus deals! Oh, eh, there you go. The elixir.
<laughs> oh, right. Ooh! Get some, uh... I guess you can make your own... You can buy some of the, uh... Full course meals and have them make them, that's always fun. Probably more cost effective to, uh... There's a mailbox in Twilight Town! Oh no, not those! Let's send this off next time we're in Twilight Town! No! Now, hmm... So how do I get back to... Am I supposed to... I guess... I guess... Go back to the title screen and, uh... But so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? Can't remove it, eat my ass. Excuse me. Now we have a hearty meal. Is everybody okay? Oh fuck! Wait shit. Gotta turn the-